Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I want to show you how to add a product to JVZoo. Alright, so you're signed into your account and you've got a few options here on the menu. So what I want to do is go to the Sellers dashboard. Okay, and down below it lists the products that you've got in here. Now I've only put one in here and I'm going to put another one in because it seems to be going alright. So uh, we're going to add a product, press on the button, okay. Now um, it says allow sales, yes, show in the marketplace, yes, these are two main things that you need to keep up there. Okay so we have um, the name, so I'm going to put a computer basics package in there. Uh, we, I usually go US dollars just to make it easy because everyone is into that. Uh, product price, um, that's the maximum price if it's a dime sale. Um, commission payout, you just say you want to pay your people 50% and also the price is 9.97 and the quantity there's an endless quantity because it is a an ebook um support email address you put your email address in there or your support at whatever um it's better to have a different email address so you can know that um that's what email you're getting it's very clear so because you really should be watching for those emails um, you need them to stand out um, you got to support URL because some people have um, online support also a sales page externally hosted or hosted on JVZoo now I have my own sales page um, so I'm just going to get the URL of it just going to copy the link address of the page now the reason I've got the page open is ready to put a buy it now button in okay so here is the um, landing page this is a sales page right uh, delivery method it is a thank you page and it shows how to protect your um, download page if you want to go there. Um, now I just have to get the thank you URL. This is exactly where um, the link is to download this um, product. Okay, we've got a 60 day money back guarantee. make it eligible for product of the day auto approve affiliates because it's just a small product um, and then you can fill in the affiliate terms and stuff like that now I'm just gonna pause the video and fill in a couple of details um, like the thank you page where the download link is and also the support email and then I will press save product and show you what to do after that. Okay, I decided to do something different and choose protected download and it says you'll be asked to upload your product to the next page. Now that's instead of choosing my own thank you page. Now um, the reason you do choose your own thank you page is because you take the traffic to your page. Now this is a different way of doing it, just say you haven't got a page and you've only got a product. Um, this is the good thing about JVZoo because you could choose their instant sales page and you could also choose their protected download and that means that they're not actually going to your website at all. Now. Um, I think I will we'll go with this method but I'll come back and change it to this in a minute after I, I can come and edit the product later so I'm going to press save product uh, 
okay now down below we've got this one here here it is that I've just added now I must upload it the file for delivery okay so let's press on let's upload the product file okay so all we're going to do is choose the file and um, let's do it okay there's my product and I'm just gonna press open so there it is there and press upload primary file so it's just uploading the PDF file okay there it is there so now I just return to your products okay so we have the computer basics package up there okay so now I'm going to press on buy buttons and I'm going to choose a button so I'm just going to go with this one now if you were in a forum you ch choose this forum code press on that and get the forum code at the moment this is HTML code so this is for your WordPress website now choose a color that suits or you think your buyers might like there's, there's smaller ones let's have a look these ones are quite big this one's quite big um, yeah so just choose one now I'm going to go and paste that HTML code into the actual sales page so I'm going to go into the HTML because that's where I want to post it and I've actually got a Clickbank Clickbank button in here which I'm going to go over the top of actually I'll just go like this and press find and look for the button JPEG okay so there it is there that's the actual link so I'm just gonna take that out and, and press paste over the top of it now I'm just gonna go and press next to find the other button Oop, I'm out of there in here go up up I'm looking for button JPEG and I'm gonna replace that again paste now let's go and have a look I'll just bring this down a bit so we can see what we're doing here now scroll down and there's the button there now I am just gonna click on that button and go up to the top of the page and center it okay so let's have a look now there we go right there's my button bang ready to go now go down further and there's another one so obviously I'm gonna center that one as well and that's it that's done okay I'm going to put that in there and that's it and I'm just going to update my page so the buttons ready to go all through JVZoo they are going to deliver it for me I'll just go like that and now let's go back to JVZoo and all right let's where does it say to go back I don't know whether it does or not let's have a look down the bottom okay it doesn't I'll just press the back button and I'm here I oh, now I've done the button there's an affiliate details page there's the file loaded up there uh, you can there's the sales details and stuff like that now um, it says warning your sales page should have a JV do yeah okay I just put the JVZoo button on there so let's verify it 
okay it's done okay so that's it that is all okay now the thing is I have a sales page I've got the buy it now button on there JVZoo is going to deliver the product there it is there um, I can go back and edit this so let's press edit now I said that I would like to change this back to my own thank you page okay um, and stuff like that so I will do that because if I'm selling a product um, I like to send them to my sites and um, it's not as more traffic uh, possibly more sales everything alright so that's the only thing I'd change about this but otherwise it's ready to go and um, that's how easy it is now just press back um, because I actually just added this product in here and I was actually selling it through PayPal uh, for about three years and um, I just put the price up just slightly just so I could cover the extra uh, say 40 cents that JV, JV Zoo charges and um, it's going very good now so now I'm ready to um, try some different buttons out and um, collect some affiliates to promote this product and stuff like that um, also um, if your product is good and worthy you know worthy of wasting your time on then um, you can improve it and increase the sale increase the sale price all right um, thanks for watching that is how easy it is to put a product in JVZoo okay see you later